we will talk here about how you dimension a multi-view sketch. We've already done dimensioning, and we've already done multi-view sketching, so now we're going to put it together. So here are some examples of putting some of the sizing on some things. Again, top view is going to show us, you know, from front to back, how, how deep is it, and it can also show you width. A symbol here means circle, and we're telling the diameter of this circle. And then side view is getting us some height. Now, that's not everything that would go on this drawing, but we're just kind of showing you little bits and pieces. Again, we had this circle on the other draw on the no, same drawing, circle. Um, that circle needs to get located. We got to tell people where the center of that circle is. Now, we wouldn't do it up here because it's we don't see the circle up there. We do it where we see the circle. We're telling them the center of it. So this tends to be more what the drawing is going to look like. It's going to have a lot of dimensions on it to tell us what they are and where they are. And there is a better place to put some dimensions than others. Again, how big is the circle? Locate the circle. Get some width. Now notice this 2.5 is drawn in between these two views. That's because it kind of goes with both of the views. Whereas opposed to this one, this depth here is going with this view. So that's why it's like that. Heights go over here better than anywhere else. So you, you gotta get a practice and see where things go best. So there are some guidelines. Um, don't duplicate things. So this is correct given all these dimensions here. Notice this one's everything's outside the shape. Uh, but in between views, possibly. This would be incorrect in that we're duplicating information. That's why we write this information in between these two views to say, hey, it goes with both of them. And the lines line up. Again, we got some duplicates here. This one was better over here. 0.5 was better here because it showed you couldn't, didn't really want to put the 0.5 over here. You could have actually just put 1.5 over here and not over here or put it over here and not over here there's not perfect there's just good um, put the dimensions on the view that really shows it that's what a contour means you know this 0.75 down here shows we come 0.75 over then we have a turn up putting the 0.75 up here yeah it says we come 0.75 then something happens we don't know what happens though. Does it go up? Does it go down? That's why the 0.75, 1.5, and that are here. Um, same thing with the 0.5. It's better here because it's showing that that's a contour. Here, yeah, it's a contour. We don't know what's happening to it. Back, forward, here we know what's happening to it. Um, best show here is incorrect. Yeah, they got 0.75 up here, 1.5 here, 2 here. That point five. Well, the, 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 these are also duplicated here, so you know the red here is what's incorrect, an incorrect way of doing it. You can always pause video. Uh, avoid dimensioning to a hidden line. So I've got here's the the multi view. Here's kind of correct. Incorrect here is putting a point seven five here, showing to that hidden line, which is this over here. Yeah, don't put it on a hidden line. Um, don't go inside or through an object. Again, we got outside, outside, 0.75 is there. One's here, the 0.5 is here. These are on this view. Yeah, that's not good. You know, don't put you know those tick marks into the drawing. That's not good. Put them like, like we said, put them between the views where they are applicable to them. Yeah, putting that one up there. Where'd that one come from? Yeah, that one was here. It's over here. Well, it, it pertains to this view also. Show them the depth, so put it in between over here. This one also. Put it in between here. This 0.75 and that. Put it up here. Uh, circle by diameter. So again, circle symbol, diameter, radius of a curve. 
locate the circle, the center of the circle. And seven, again, talking about locating the center of a circle. Boom, boom, boom. Um, and where we have them, so we see it's a circle. That's, the, I mean, six, seven, eight are like one thing. Circles, curves. Locate, center. Give us a diameter. Do it in the view where she see it as a circle, for example. Don't do it in a view where the circle is actually hidden lines. Hidden lines, yeah, that's, we don't know it's a circle here. Well, we do know it's a circle, but it's just not really seen. Do it in here. So examples, they're going here in between this view, in between these views, up here. You know, that's going pretty good. Again, we're going in between this and this view. Five is in between this and this view. Here, 0.75 showing the contours. It also pertains over here. One, five, yeah. And I have some practice drawings for you to work on. That's it.